This is a demonstration of the free scale part of the embedded systems coursework wherein I simulate a factory robot anti-collision system on the free scale microcontroller. Uh, to begin, we have our first input, the dip switch simulating uh, the switch to activate or deactivate the robot. So when it is off, when it is in the off position, uh, there is no display on the output LEDs, nothing is being read on our analog inputs, either the potentiometer simulating the ultrasound sensor or the uh, photo sensor. So when we turn that on, we see that we have a couple of LEDs that are illuminated. We have the first LED signifying that everything is operating normally and the second to show that it's moving forward. Uh, we have on these eight LEDs the distance uh, to the nearest obstacle, which comes as input from the potentiometer. Normally the potentiometer gives a value between 0 and 255, so, it is scale so it's scaled so that at maximum it displays a distance of 100 centimeters, and at minimum, 0. And so anytime since it is at zero, we see that it is below the minimum distance needed to uh, initiate a turn, which is simulated by illuminating LED 3. And as long as the distance remains below 30, LED 3 will remain illuminated. But as soon as it goes above 30, we see that LED 3 turns off. Okay. Um, in addition to that, we have the dip switch being able to activate or deactivate the robot at any time. So we can deactivate it in the middle of operation and everything comes off or and reactivate it and it's at the same position and this also applies during turns. So we can turn it off and turn it back on during turns. Okay. In addition, we have another analog input, the photo sensor, um, which simulates whether or not the robot has reached the boundary of its working environment. Normally, the photo sensor is supposed to trigger an emergency, uh, an emergency stop if it encounters a value of less than 10 percent of its full value, signifying that it's reached a white a white line on the on the work area on the work surface. But since that it's much easier to test and demonstrate um, when the photo sensor detects darkness rather than light, I have just inverted it for the demonstration. So we see that during normal operation, if the photo sensor detects uh, a light level greater than uh, 90 percent that it can take in, then it will perform an emergency shutoff, turning off the eight display LEDs and flashing LED 1 indefinitely uh, or until the dip switch is turned off. So we can simulate that by covering it up and we see that upon covering we have reached the end of the work area, LED 1 is flashing, uh, no data is being displayed on the LEDs and it will continue to do this until it's turned off. Once it's turned back on, we assume that we just resume normal operation. And that is the demonstration of all the functionality um, of the factory robot anti-collision system as outlined in the assignment.